एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफ डी स्टॉक सो आई रिसेंटली गॉट अ कमेंट ऑन वन ऑफ माय वीडियो आस्किंग दैट हाउ वी कैन एक्सपोर्ट डेटा फ्रॉम सेल्स फोर्स विच आर लिंक्ड बाय लुक ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स यूजिंग एस एफ डी एक्स कमांड्स ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन एक्सपोर्ट डेटा फ्रॉम सेल्स फोर्स एंड हाउ वी कैन इम्पोर्ट डेटा बैक टू सेल्स फोर्स यूजिंग एस एफ डी एक्स कमांड्स वेर यू हैव अ लुक ऑफ रिलेशनशिप सो इन ऑर्डर टू फॉर्म अ लुक ऑफ रिलेशनशिप वट आई हैव डन आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ कस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट नेम डेज एम्प्लॉय सो यू कैन सी दैट हेयर इज अ कस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट and i have created a lookup to a standard object which is account and uh, this is the lookup field which is known as account underscore underscore c now i am going to create a lot of data in this org so i am going to create a couple of accounts and i am going to create a couple of employees as well so as of now you can see that i don't have any accounts i don't have any employees and then we will see how we can export these records and how we can import these records let's create the record first of all so i am going to execute this code it will create all the accounts and then it will use those accounts to link with the new employee records so i'm just going to execute this code once and if i see here you can see that i have 20 accounts present in salesforce and uh, i should have 20 employees as well which are related to these accounts so you can see that i have 20 employees as well let me just add the account field here as well so i can simply select account and this should work fine yeah so you can see that all the employees are linked to these accounts now let's see how we can export the records that are present in salesforce and are linked together by lookup relationships in order to export records from salesforce what we can do we can specify a command which is known as sfdx force data free export and here i need to specify a socal query now we need to export accounts along with their employees right so what we can do we can say select name from account so this is the socal query for account and within this socal query i can specify an inner query for employees so i can say select name from employees underscore underscore r i am taking employees underscore underscore r which is the child relationship for my employees field if you see right here is my custom object and this is the account field and uh, if i see the child relationship name it is employees so whenever you are performing an inner query you need to use the child relationship name and specify that in the query of your parent object so the parent object query is select name from account and the inner query is select name from employee underscore underscore r and after this i can specify the directory where i want to save this data so i'm going to use the data directory which i have created right here so the directory name is data and that should be fine So here you can see we have brought twenty records to data slash account hyphen employee underscore underscore c dot json because if you see we have exported twenty accounts and we have exported twenty employees as well. So this is my account records. If you can see this is the account name and then within the account record I have my employee record as well. So this is employee one, this is employee two, this is employee three, this is account three like that. Now you may ask that. this file is showing the account records along with the employee records all together what if i want a different file for account records and a different file for employee records we can do that as well so either you query two times and query the account records or the employee records separately you can query both the account and employee records all together as well in different separate files and you can specify the relationship between them as well for that what you need to do you just need to use the similar query that we used right above and after that you just need to specify hyphen p hyphen p specifies that i want to save a plan file here as well and a plan file basically denotes the relationship between the record files that are exported so if i run this command you can see that i have three files created one is accounts.json which is this one and if i see this file it consists of all the account records right the next file is employee_cs.json so if you see this file employee_cs it consists of all the employee records and it is also specifying that this employee record is linked to this account record with account ref 7 okay and how can i find that which account record is this this is the account ref 7 okay so the employee file is basically specifying that this employee record is linked with this account record which is known as account ref 7 so this is just a local id you can say or a local identifier for your account in the exported data and if you see right here there is another file named as account-employee_c-plan.json and this plan file basically specifies the relationship between account and employees so these are my account records which are stored in accounts.json and these are my employee records which are stored in employees.json 
or I can say employee underscore underscore cs dot json. Now let's see how we can import data into Salesforce. So I'm going to delete all the accounts and employees that are present in my Salesforce org. And now we are going to import that data using our exported files. So let's get back to Salesforce and verify that our employees are deleted. And uh, let's verify that our accounts are deleted as well. And there is no account, okay? Now, in order to import this data into Salesforce, what we can do, we can use the import command. So we can say sfdx force data free import hyphen f and then the exported file. So either I can use this file which consists of both the account and employees or I can use the separate files as well. So let me just use this file first of all which is accounts along with their employees. So I can say hyphen f and account hyphen employee it should be data slash account hyphen employee underscore underscore c dot json okay if you see my accounts and employees both are created successfully in the org and if i see right here my accounts are imported successfully and if i see my employees i can say that my employees are linked successfully as well so using this file which is a combined export of account and employees i can import this file to create my employees and account records back into salesforce and these two objects are linked by lookup relationship now let's see another way of doing this so i'm going to delete my account and employees again so my employee records are not present and if i check out my account records these are also not present now let's see how we can import the records using plan file. Okay, so we have already a plan file present here, which consists of two or three JSON, which are specified right here. So this plan file specifies that this is the accounts.json, which consists of account records. This is the employee.json, which consists of employee records. And these two files are linked to each other using some references. So this employee file has a reference to the account named as account ref7, which is basically linked to the account with the ID as account ref7. Okay. So that's how it is going to form the relationships. Now let's see how we can do this import. We can say sfdx force data free import hyphen p denotes that I'm going to specify a plan file. And the plan file is inside the data folder. I have account hyphen employee hyphen plan. Okay. So this data is imported. And if you see, I have again the account records imported into Salesforce. And if I check out my employees records, these are again imported into Salesforce. And all my employee records are linked with the account records. So this is how you can export data from Salesforce and you can import data into Salesforce when you have the records in a master detail or a lookup relationship. These commands will work fine in case of lookup relationships as well as we have seen. And these commands will work fine in case of master detail relationships as well. There are some limitations to data commands as well. So the first limitation is in case of an export, you can export a maximum of 2000 records and in case of an import you can import a maximum of 200 records okay so this is the maximum number of records that you can export or import into salesforce or from salesforce using the data commands in case you want to export more than 2000 records or let's say you want to import more than 200 records then i'll prefer you can use data loader and you can also use data import wizard there are two options either data loader or data import wizard and uh, in case you want to learn about these, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll create a video on those as well. So that's all for this tutorial everyone. I hope you liked it. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Till then, have a good day. Bye-bye.